Hey guys, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I am one week behind on, you know, sort of showing and finishing up my flea market style sale. It's still happening. Um, you know, just keep watching because my, this is why I don't do lives. Every time I try to stick to a plan, as my mom would say, as the mother, the ma, my mama would say, I had a plan. They took my plan. <laughs> so anyway, I had a plan. Anyway, just keep watching. I do have to tell you, I, you can look at this while I'm running my mouth. I promise I won't run my mouth for too long. This says, well-behaved women rarely make history. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so I started to curate, well, really grab things and organize things, guys. I literally, for the first time, even back when I invented and started junk journaling kits, and I really did do that. Um, I used to be overwhelmed, but guys, this is the first time that I have been like so overwhelmed with all the stuff that I have that I just shut down. Uh, my mojo was just like, it was gone. Just like within a day um, of me starting to, to put things together. And here's why I think that happened. now. Somebody else may have a different experience or a similar experience. We all experience and, you know, sort of approach an issue um, how we do. And so one, I think it was so overwhelming because I have so much stuff. I know we all do, but this is the first time ever in my history of being on YouTube and being an Etsy seller, being a YouTube seller, um, that I just... It, it was something new for me and I just couldn't really grasp on the packaging. And, and I'll, of course, I recycled everything I possibly can. I mean, I, I, I love the way I forget the name of that one um, business that does unboxing or sells boxes, mystery boxes, something studio, something. They have such beautiful packaging. And then that one lady that um, some of the stitchers um, put out who sells boxes, beautiful boxes of fabric and, you know, slow stitching um, or just stitching in general um, gatherings, if you will, collections. And so anyway, I just I just got stuck and I was like, OK, what packaging I'm going to box this because I because I want the boxing, everything to I like for things to be full. This is my number one problem. And if you've known me for a long time, my stuff from way back when 2015 16 was never skimpy never ever skimpy like i really i have a habit of piling it on so i think what happened i lost my mojo is because i'm not accustomed to just having a bag of of um these for example like i'm selling these this to me just peddling this to you guys and it's a flea market style sale. This is one of the first things. This one has 144 tiles in there. But guys, I had such a problem just selling you the bag like that. So I think I have issues. <sighs> so I finally, I was all excited. I told my cousin Kat like Tuesday of, uh, today's Sunday, by the way. I think I told her Tuesday. I said, okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm all excited. I figured out a packaging thing for it. She's like, well, what are you, like, what is the problem? I'm like, the boxing. And, and like, I, like, I'm not used to just selling like that, like that. But I'm trying to do it because I said it's a flea market style. Now, all of this stuff, if it doesn't sell with you guys, it's going to the flea market with my husband and I um, at a booth. So it's, it's not a big deal because I'll get rid of it one way or another. And I'll donate too because I do donate things. If I can't sell it and make a buck on it, then I donate it. Um, but I do donate some things that are, oh my gosh, some things that are, you know, I could sell, but why not donate it? And it's all good stuff. My donations are not, they're not, um, they're leftovers, but they're good leftovers, right? They're good leftovers. And then of course, I happy mail. So long story short, I had a problem 
with the boxing. So I talked to my cousin and said, okay, I think I got it. I got my mojo back. I figured out the boxing and I'll talk to you guys about that when I get to that point of showing you those boxes. Um, and, and then I lost it again <laughs> because I just can't like, I, okay. So like I'm used to selling things like, like this box right here. I'll show you. I'm going to go through this whole box. I, one lady was interested when I first showed it. Guys, I've added, I told her it was $25. Well, I'm going to have to break the news that the price has changed on this box because I have added so much stuff and I keep adding and adding and adding and adding and there's just tons of things in here and I keep adding all these spring old vintage buttons and pretty ladies on cards and I just kept piling it in and pi there's, you know, all kinds of goodies in here. And I finally just had to stop. I said, Renee, girlfriend, you have got to put an end to it and stop trying to do your old school way of filling things up. And for those of you who are new to my channel, there's not many of you. I don't think I have very many new subbies. Um, if you're kind of just happen to be watching this, you should sub and you should definitely go see my tins. Um, I am still impressed by me. Um, and that's okay. As one of my students so confidently said this year, professor, I am pro me. <laughs> like you go. That's the way, that's the way to think, right? Um, and so I, I kind of, I, you know, I kind of, kind of pride myself in how full my tins are and so I will find those videos so you don't have to hunt down in my channel and find you some of the best and my most favorite tins that I've ever curated now back to the problem I feel like this is great and I'm like woohoo tiles everybody loves tiles these are wonderful there's 144 I've counted them out in here and so people use tiles they use them for charms and dangles and um, you know spelling out messages and definitely in assemblage boxes and so there's one lot that's for sale right there I have issues with that I really do like I want to add some something else to it and I want to add some little bottles to it and um, you know some hooks and stuff to it you know some other things that might go on charms and dangles and when I show you guys my mom's um she had so many charms oh my god i just am like oh what am i gonna do with all these and so i talked to my cousin cat again and i said okay mama's got a lot of charms and so she was like well just put them out and we started talking about how i should approach the charms and how, you know, I can sell them in little packs. Guys, I've never sold anything like that before. And y'all know that better than anybody. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, it's, I'm not used to it. So I've, I've had to try to revamp my curating thinking habits and the way I curate stuff. And again, watch my 10 videos. I swear you'll be amazed at how much I can fit into one 10. Don't ask me how I do it. I mean, this box that I just showed you, that Easter box, that just, the, because the box is bigger, that just made me want to keep adding and adding and adding and adding. And when I've curated tins, that's the same thing that I do. When I've curated junk journaling kits, when I first started the junk journal kit idea way back in the past, and yes, I invented it. And yes, I'm saying invent it. Um, I just keep packing it in and packing it in and packing it in and packing it in. So, okay, sorry, that's my sister texting me. My brother, um, okay, let's see. When I'll go. Okay, all right, so anyway, yeah, so I keep packing it in and I'm not used to this, but I'm gonna try my best to be used to it. Now, I don't, so far, all I can tell you guys is to keep watching i'll let you know when i'm done and that way those of you who ordered books already um and feel free to order if you're international because i work it out some way or another guys i really do i try my best to because shipping is just brutal 
it's a scam it's a gouging system of gouging crafters that is um, so I will work it out um, but just keep watching I'll let you know when the end of this is because as of tomorrow um, I am gonna um, start uh, prepping for um, school because you know I'm going back to school for the last time and I this whole week before school starts for me which is in I think two weeks I can't I have to look at the calendar I may have told you guys already um, and so as of Monday tomorrow I was supposed to start this past Monday sort of preparing but I have time and I'm very in a good place um, where I am um, so when I say that's the end of this that'll be the end of this um, pitch but just keep watching and maybe on some Sundays I will find time to continue because I, I think it's so overwhelming because I do have so much stuff and I I have to I don't I didn't want to just put things in a big for example <laughs> for example I didn't want to put things in big bags like this like who needs that many dominoes right I mean this is a stash now the one good thing is is that if you are you are a seller or a junk journal dangle maker because not every junk journal artist uses um, uses a charms and dangles on their books not every artist uses um, a book cover for the cover of their book they make their own covers which is you know I love both I really do I just I love the variety that our community um, the junk journal artists um, you know their own style sometimes they do both they'll use book covers or they'll make their own cover um you know like carla frizzell one of my all-time favorite junk journal makers of many does both so she'll do um uh, like for example oh my gosh guys my allergies are gonna start i know they are like for example carla frizzell made this book here I haven't started to use it let me just show you it's so beautiful I have so many beautiful journals and I've shown you this before but this now this is where the book cover that she used an old book and we all know you all know who she is um, I, I, I I don't even have to link her below um, Carla Frizzell everybody knows who she is but this book is so gorgeous. I mean, she used a cover, an old book cover. Isn't that beautiful? It's just absolutely stunning, um, the work on this. Then I have this gorgeous, wait, I'm messing up my negoti, my negoti. Oh, I'm talk, speaking Spanish again. Okay, I have to re redirect my brain sometimes. This gorgeous book, I've shown you before is from Tamara Crumble, Tattered Tammy. And she has, you know, I don't, I, I think, I, I think this is another book for sure. It is. And then of course she's turned it into her own style and her own um, interpretation, right? So some ladies use book covers and then other ladies make their own book cover because I have another gorgeous um, um, uh, book from Tahira. I've got one from, um, oh my God. Oh, Lord have mercy. I have to talk about this some other time. So, you see, I get so distracted with, with, with everything because that's just the way it goes. So, anyway, so why am I babbling and why am I not selling stuff right now? I am. I'm going to. I'm getting ready to. I am. I haven't used these books yet. Guys, sometimes I'm scared to I have a Tahira book. Uh, Tahira book is what I was trying to say earlier. I've got several of her books too. And I, oh my God, I have so many. You guys have seen them because I've shown you my personal collection of journals. Um, I just, I, they're just wonderful books. They, they really are. And I'm so happy. So my whole point in blah, blah, blah and saying all of that is that um, not every artist uh, uses old books. 
or they do both or they make their own journal covers right they make their own journal covers and so oh my god so with all that said i'm just kind of thrown off a little bit um i kind of forgot where i was going with that but anyway i'm just such a traditionalist guys i'm such a like who needs this this many um not everybody uses dangles that's where i was going with this so this will be a nice you know collection these are they're wooden uh, dominoes in here wooden uh chess pieces um game pieces little small dominoes and um so i'm not used to selling bulk that's what i'm trying to say i'm not used to just throwing stuff all in a bag like that and say there you go <laughs> Like, oh my God, like I should divide this out into halves at least, right? And I may still do that. Who knows? Anyway, so yeah, I've got issues. I've got a lot of issues. Okay, so let me just show you what's for sale. Um, oh, I got to go get my lot papers. Hold on. I'll be back. Okay, I got my lot numbers and I added that back in there because I want to make sure I keep track of the count. There's another pack of these. Now, this is what I'm going to do. So, this little bag right here, it's eight bucks. Okay, eight dollars, guys, for it. Um, that includes shipping because shipping for something like this now, shipping is, guys, is so. Anyway, I'm not going to start. Just focus, focus, focus. Um, eight dollars i think i better do 10 on that and the reason why yes i'm shifting in prices i know we're supposed to like give a price and be done with it yeah i might be shifty shanna today um anyway because i need to make sure the shipping is included so you know i get something out of it so there's that that's got 144 pieces of tile really pretty um fun pieces I shouldn't say necessarily pretty but fun to add to your dangles and all of that and there's a lot of alphabets in there I think 144 is what comes in this um, lot these are kind of plasticky bake lighting I don't know what you call it all right um, and then I have another pack of those here this pack only has 125 and that's because I took out some to um, gift um, and spelling out but there are plenty of letters in here um, and so uh, this is going to be ten dollars as well even though there's some missing in there and I'm just being honest with you guys and just telling you um, so that's ten dollars that's lot number 81 and this has 125 the other one is ten dollars and has 144 tiles lots of alphabets though lots and lots of alphabets okay then I have this lot. Now this is fun. Oh my God. I did, um, this was a set of Bungo Scribbage and uh, Scrabble, I think. But anyway, it's got, um, let's see, let's, let me pour it out so you can see it all of it I love these because these have really fun words I kept a few of these I don't think I put any of these in my assemblage boxes but um, you know you could buy these and an assemblage box and you're good to go but they have words like be may off part girl from work man walk clean what took my new gave ran they all have words on the side I forget which game these come from um, and I had the boxes um, to each one the original boxes um, to those I should have kept them but I didn't because um, I think even those vintage pictures are pretty cool and then these are from um, I forgot these are the bung, uh, boggle that's what it's called I don't know what I said earlier something like that and then you have these are the scribbage or scrabble I don't know those okay and these are wooden they're very light easy to puncture um there are two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty two four six twenty eight thirty two four six um um oh lord there's some 38 39 40. <laughs> 
Ooh, the brain. And I've had coffee. Lots and lots of coffee. Okay. So there's that. And those are fun. And this is a separate bag. And I'm going to sell this lot number 82 for $12. Because that's a really good bag of yumminess. Um, I think, guys, so this is why I was having issues. Yes, I was having problems. I'm still having problems with this sale because I'm not used to packing things up like this. And um, again, anything that doesn't sell, it's no problem because we uh, do get a flea market booth. $12, lot number 82, wooden letter blocks um great for your stash if you're stash building and if you like to make dangles okay then i've got oh lord <laughs> oh my god i think i'm gonna divide this into two i won't pack it up on the screen but i'm gonna do this as lot 83 and 84 and I'll just split it down the middle with colors and so on and so forth and divide everything out. There's some chess pieces, wooden chess pieces in there. Because I think this is too much, guys. This is like if you're a seller, seller. Like if you sell, um, this this one to me is like wholesale. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. I'm, I, I, You know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. So I'm going to divide it into two and I'm going to do um, $10 each pack. Shipping is going to take up, eat up that $10. But I think it's worth it. So I'll do it in two. It'll be $10 a pack. I'll divide it out all evenly. And it'll be one bag, lot 83. Another bag, lot 84. Okay. So there's that. And then I have um, these. And these are pretty heavy. These are real uh, Las Vegas. Whoops. Las Vegas chips. Um, these were my mom's had these in, in stash um, for, you know, her dangles and, you know, collections and little things that she was doing. Now, my mom, guys, the ma, most of y'all know her. You've seen her on my videos. She's in my um, uh, pictures and stuff. Let me get something to write down what I'm supposed to post for you guys, which is my 10 videos and um, some assemblage uh, images. Hang on. Okay, yeah, for those of you who want to see how I really roll, you got to go see my 10 videos um, and look at those. And I do have some coming up, so just hang tight. Hold what you got, as my aunt, great Annie would say. Um, so I'm going to post my 10 videos, a couple of those, my favorites. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, okay, and yeah, so that's that. I have to keep notes of that, otherwise I'll completely forget okay so anyway my mom the ma she mostly scavenged um things that were porcelain glass i mean she just ran such a good shop and you guys have heard me say that before a good etsy shop she was so just on top of everything every dime that came in every dime that she spent wrapping paper wrapping supplies which she I use sometimes recycle boxes, but she always bought her own peanuts and um, those little foamy popcorny things. Um, bubble wrap. We would get her bubble wrap from the flea market where we could buy these big, humongous rolls of it for really cheap, like ten dollars, twelve dollars for big rolls of it um, because it's you know so pricey in the the post office. Um, anyway, so but she did started to make dangles, and she made so many. I showed those to you guys on my last video. Um, but I want to share with you later the charms and all the stuff she just, it was, it's so much guys. I, I just, it's like, oh my God. So I'll divide, um, anybody who's interested in, um, these kind of chippy things, um, I'll divide these equally into two bags. If there's an oddball, I'll take it out and add it to my assemblage boxes, which are coming up. So this will be lot 85 and 86. And I'll let these go. These are really heavy. Um, they're very heavy. But uh, let's see. I'll do $8 a bag on those. Okay. And this is good for those of you. Now remember, these are going to go to the flea market. I won't have these anymore after this. Um, I, I just won't. So I'll divide them up. Double check and divide them up equally. Okay. In case you're interested in these. These are really, really fun. They're also great for... Like, I've peddled stuff like this before. Sorry for the noise. I've peddled... Let me recycle one of these bags. 
I've peddled stuff like this for game room decor. So if you have a husband or a brother or uncle, or if you girls yourselves, because my mama was a sports fanatic, I'll keep saying that. She could talk any man out of breath um, because she knew so much about sports, like a lot. Um, so these are $8, and I'm just going to stick these in here. I won't staple it yet because I'm going to actually divide them equally. So that's lot 85, 86. But these are great for sports room decoration. Um, a lot of times, um, I imagine, I don't know, that people will decorate and sit these in a bowl in a corner somewhere on their bar or bar room decor, Las Vegas thing, whatever, whatever. So there's that. And then I have... Um, let's see. This is unopened. I'm not going to open it. It's a pack of full pack of dominoes in black. They're wooden. They're the small size. I'm not going to measure anything because I don't have time for that. They're the same size as those red and green ones that you saw. Um, but it's just a little pack and this is going to be, um, how about for shipping? If you just bought this, it's going to cost me like $4 to ship it. So I'm just going to say, I'll do that one for six bucks. That way, you know. Um, hold on. That way, those of you who are just interested in a specific color of dominoes, like black and white, then you've got it. Okay, so there's that. Um, they're small, they're wooden, there's the whole set in there. It's unopened, um, six bucks. Number 87, lot 87. Then I have this little box. Now let's see if these are all in here. Looks like they are. These are really tiny um, dominoes. And I don't even know. Let's see. I've got two of these. Let's just open it all. Um, looks like one might be missing from this one. Um, let me count them. And I don't think I put any. I put some small dominoes in my assemblage boxes. But I did not put these in there I don't think um, because I I, um, I don't know why I didn't do that let's just count them out and see how many dominoes go in a thing is it is it 20 oh that went back there oops oh lord now I've messed it up <laughs> anyway let's see one two three okay I'm right four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, it should be 28, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, good. And these boxes are super cute for assemblage. Mm-hmm, you can totally like stick some tiny itty bitty stuff in there and it's own babies. Put it up on the wall. Um, when, while I'm putting these back in here, I have to count those though too to be sure. Um, well, let me put these back in and then I'll be back. Okay. Um, Kat and I were talking about, um, and those of you who don't know who my cousin is, I'll link her down below as well because she's doing a lot. She's not just focusing on junk journaling guys. She does. She's doing all of it, <laughs> all the everything. Um, she's cats, crafts, and green eyes on YouTube. And I'll link her down below too because she's just having fun. She's playing and it's, it's just really nice. So this little box, let's count this one. We were talking about, she was like, well, how does stuff stick in the boxes? If, do you glue it in there? And um, you can. I mean, those of you, I know, who was that? Maybe it was Nick the Booksmith that did some assemblage in the past. I can't remember. It's been so long. But anyway, they're really fun and I'll put some images in here um, for you. I did... Um, link some images in my last video you have to pop down and look and click on more in the description box to see what has sold and what has not sold what's still available um and any links that i mentioned that's where you'll find them okay let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two two three no more no five two six two seven eight yeah so these are full sets and I'm going to do, um, let's do six bucks on each of those. Those are just fun. So lot 88 and 89, um, we're going to do, I think I'm going to do, uh, 
I got to do eight, guys, because of shipping. I'm so sorry. So $8. I know I keep switching in my brain because shipping is just, oh my God, it's insane. You guys know that. So there's that. Sorry about that. $2 more, but it's a good deal. It's a whole set. You've got an assemblage box. It's light wood. You can puncture those, drill those for dangles, um, use them to decorate a game room or a sports bar room or your male guy shed room or whatever it is you do. <laughs> okay. I picked them up because listen, I wouldn't pick up anything that I wouldn't use myself if I were a crafter and if I had the time to really, 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 really think about stuff, okay? That's the best I can do. Then I've got, that's lot number 88 and 89. I've got these two flutes. These are really cool and I'm not going to put my mouth on them <laughs> and blow them. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, anyway, so here are um, two gorgeous uh, flutes. These are, there's the brand right there. Okay, my cousin Kathy and I come from a family of musicians um, who read music, who played various instruments. I mean, um, I just love it. I, I just think these are really fun. They're really good for kids that are interested in. Um, in playing um, the flute or trying his or her hand at it or maybe even one of you guys they're also really interesting in just making sounds um, I noticed that um, a lot of people really innovative people are um, pretty much using old um, oh my god and I took it to the flea market last year or year before last it was this Bing, 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 bing. What do you call those things? I forgot. What do you call them? The little, you have the, and it was vintage. It's a little ball on the top, and then you just hit the little metal things, and they, they're color coordinated. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like a, a, what is it called? It starts with a Z. I forget. Anyway, um, so one guy is using old pieces, and sometimes they aren't even musical pieces to create like amazing music. It's so cool. So anyway, these are available. They're in beautiful condition. I, otherwise, I wouldn't have grabbed them. And I am more than happy to to peddle these at the flea market, the real flea market where we have a booth and everything um, if they don't sell here. And I'm selling each one of these. If you want both of them, I'll give you a deal. But um, I think I'm going to do each of them, lot number 90 and lot number 91. They're the same. Pretty much the same. Um, and I think I should use washi tape on this uh, to hold this down because I don't want um, tape. Well, this can come off easily. That's just um, labeling tape, I guess. Um, I'm going to do each of these for $12. Okay. So there's number 90. And there's number 91. Okay. If you're so musically inclined. Um, I think these would be great for you or your child or your grandbaby or yourselves. Um, excuse the reach, please. Um, for yourselves, your grandbabies, um, nieces, nephews, uncles, brothers, who, whomever, whoever is musically inclined in your family. This is fun. And especially if you have a child, seriously, um, that's aspiring to be a flute player or a flute player of sorts. Okay, twelve dollars. Lot number ninety, lot number ninety-one. There are those, and I will wrap them up securely. Oh my God! Then I have. Oh Lord, have mercy! <laughs> oh my God! This is why, I'm, guys. This is why I was so. I wasn't stressed. I just, I just lost the oomph and the happiness to sell and pedal because I, I really don't know what I'm doing in this kind of sale. I mean, and I've sold a, a, a long time here, but in this case, I'm just kind of at a loss a little bit. So these are knitting needles and there's a lot. Okay. Um, I, I mean, <laughs> let me see. I don't want to take out just the wooden ones. Like this is the, um, what is this called? This brand. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. 
I haven't looked these up. These are wooden. Let's see, is there a match in here? Some of these may not have matches. Oh, look at the wooden crochet um, hook. That's wooden. That's really pretty. Really cool. And there's not one to this one. So this would be good in a sort of a larger needle room decor, sewing room decor, knitting room decor um, piece if there's not a matching one. But it looks like, let's see, let's just do this. I got time. Um, these are curved. These have been used. These have been loved on. Look how old those are. So there are those. Those are those bendable ones. That's a pair, a good pair. These blue ones. This is a good pair. Oh, I love this wood. Is the other one to it? Nope. So that's an oddball. I'll put this crochet needle here because it's it's a loner. This is a um, crochet ending on these. Let's see if there's a pair. I guess, are those single, guys? I crochet, but I'm not a professional. I, I, I've i never crocheted with a needle like that in my life. My crochet needles, guys, are, I mean, <laughs> anyway, they're over there. I, I, I don't want to waste time, but yeah, mine are just the regular needles. That's it, but okay, let's see what else. Do we have other matches? Um... These match. Nope. No, they don't. Okay, these match. These match here. These are plastic. Those are really cool. Those are uh, boy, boy. Is that what you call that? There's those. Those are wooden tops and light um, blue. Um, this is a match here. Tied with some string. I like these. These look serious right here. I wonder if they'll stick to a magnet. Oh, yes, they do. Ta-da! Okay, those are nice. Um, what else do we have? These two pink ones, these are a match. Um, these are a match. I love the color of these. That's a pair. Oh, and here's the wooden top to one of these. I wonder what that goes to. Mm. Oh, this blue one. There we go. And there's the match to that one. I haven't opened these, guys. <laughs> I'm just now looking at this with you. You think I'd be organized, but I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Um, let's see. What else? This is interesting. Oh my God. Why do you have two hooks? A hook at one end, crochet hook this end and one at this end. Oh my goodness. That's interesting. Well, I guess that's a loner, I, I'm going to say. And then I have, oh, I love these. Sorry, you might hear my tummy here. I'm getting hungry. Let's see. Oh, here's a match. Nope. No, it's not. Oh, here's a match. Okay. There we go. All right. And I think, and these are crochet hooks. So I'm going to put these in as solo because they don't, none of these have crochet hooks at the end. Um, again, these loners. These wooden ones are really cool, I think, to decorate a, a crochet room, a crochet room, knitting, needle, needlery, needlery room, <laughs> stitchery room, knitting, you know, kind of thing. I think these would be cool to put down in a jar or something just for decoration. But I think that that's it. The inter oh, no, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. There's another pair. Oops, excuse me. And yeah, I think that's all. That's it. I wish the other one was to this one. This one looks pretty hardcore too, like the silver ones. So there are some non-matches right there, which would be, again, really cool 
in a jar or a bowl or bowl or whatever okay so how many pairs do i have oh, one single two single three single four five a pair six a single seven a pair eight a pair nine ten eleven twelve I love this wooden crochet um, neat uh, um, hook 13 14 and 15 my favorite in all of these is the silver ones uh, that, that looks like and these these look like they've been really 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 used um, and they look really good and sturdy um, and that's that's in there so 13 I guess and all um, I can send these as a thank you if you're interested but I'm gonna keep these separated for now okay um, <clears throat> so all right for that pack um, let's do twenty two dollars I think for that is good twenty two bucks for all of those guys lot number ninety two Okay, uh, let's see. Do I have a rubber band big enough to hold these puppies? Ooh, it's a lot. I would, I, I never learned how to knit. My um, sister in law tried to show me years and years and years ago. She knits and crochets, she's really good, honey. Oh my god, but I just didn't have the patience for knitting, it just seems so complicated. I, I can crochet though, pretty much anything, but I don't do it as often as I used to. Okay, there's that. Um, and I'm just gonna pop that right under there. That's lot number 92 for $22 And I'll send you those other ones if you want them as a thank you. Okay, and remember guys There are no thank you notes coming with these packs zero because I I'm sa saying thank you now Okay, then I have some bobbins and these I can put on Etsy and they would be gone in no time because, you know, women need bobbins, you know, for their sewing machines. And I've taped this together. Hang on. It's a wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. I love that. How they wiggle around in there. It's like zig, 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 zig. Look at them. That's not my hands. That's just how they sound. <laughs> Although I've had so much coffee this morning. It could be. Okay, well, I did put the tape on here really well because I didn't want them to fall out, you know what I mean? Because they'll be all over the place. So there are the colors right there. There are three, six, 21 bobbins. I think three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, 21. And they're the colors. They're already threaded for you. They are, they are so wiggly. All right, that's the kind they are. I don't think there's any. Oh, this one's different. Uh, is it? Nope. Because some of the some bobbins I put in these tins look very different. Like this one. These were extras. And if you buy this one, I'll probably put these in here in your order. But like these are really different. I use these in my stitching um, tins. Okay. So, and ladies y'all know how important these are they just save your lives right because you don't have to um spin apparently doing bobbins like that it takes a minute okay so there's that lot um that's going to be lot number 93 and i'm going to do this one for 18 bucks shipping included Woohoo! hey let's do 15 how about that let's do 15 dollars there we go. 15 and that includes shipping. Um, where's my tape? And I'm sorry, you'll have to clean this box up yourself with the tape I put on there. Because that washi tape I put on there is on there really good. $15, 21 bobbins, number 93. All right. And again, all of this will go to the my, my big plastic tubs to pack and take to the flea market. Although I'd rather sell them here. Um, okay, now I've got this big old thing of um, oh, I don't know what I don't know if this is hat band or 
what it is. It kind of reminds me of the stuff that we put that the Indian uh, men wear around their, um, you know, their regalia, their apparel. Um, and so it's a lot of it. I won't ever use this um, for anything in my stitching, but it's stretchy. No, no. Um, and so, <laughs> and Kat, you better not be laughing. I can hear you laughing because I just did that <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> okay, anyway, so there's that. Um, it's stretchy. It's got some really um, pretty vibrant colors. It's in good shape. There's no, you know, there's no cuts or or damage or stains or anything it's a lot of it how many inches of it is there oh my god i'm so unprepared oh my god okay let me see how many this is like eight and a quarter guys eight and a quarter that's a lot so again, this is so weird to me because it feels wholesale-y, like I'm wholesaling stuff, which is really good for me. If you guys like that kind of wholesale idea, it's really good for those of you who have time. I, I, I won't have time like ever again to put together um, the things that I've done in the past. I just won't ever have that time again. Um, and so if you're if you like to put together packs and make your own packs, then um, I, I'm your I'm your gal. OK, so there's that. And I will stick that pan back in there. That's a lot. Somebody tell me, what is this? Isn't this the, the band that they the Indian men wear around their waist or something like that? That's what it feels like to me. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but I think it's good for um, stitching and good for you know um sort of that the the really darker royal colors because it looks like it's a blue and grayish and um kind of a ye golden yellow burgundy um kind of thing so this is lot 94 and let's see it's probably going to be about seven dollars to mail that and um i'm okay with doing like eight dollars for that so 15 I'll do 15 bucks on that one. And that's lot number 94. Oh my God, this is the weirdest sale I've ever had in my life. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, um, let's see. And for those of you who are waiting for tins and boxes, um, I have those coming. Um, I will show you, um, I've got, okay, so I've got three Christmas tins. I've got an Asian tin that I think is already sold. The Easter box that I have to change the price on because I just added way too much in there because I can't stop and it's not the customer who really wants that. Um, it's not her fault. It's just that it's, it's a lot, guys. And you'll see when I go through that. I plan to go through that. So what else do I have? Um, I have? I have stuff, but I'm kind of just like, oh, let me show you guys this pack really quick this is a princess pack and so you know if your daughter or granddaughter or any of you who are into Disney stuff this is a grab bag okay so what's in it this was at Hobby Lobby originally for $5.99 and these are the papers in there hopefully you, you guys can see that so those are the papers it's a paper pack contains 12 sheets it's unopened four assorted designs 12 by 12 and then this one is a disney pack and this one um, was originally 5.99 as well and it's a Cinderella with uh, Mickey, Minnie, Tigger. Um, what's her name? This fairy girl here? I forgot. Tinkerbell, I think that's her. Oh, Lord, I'm so out of the loop with all that kind of stuff, guys. I, I'm just out of the loop. 
<laughs> Which, I, I, I don't know. So there's two packs of those unopened. Then I included in there some leftover. I've gifted some of this before. Um, it's a it's a songbook. It's got a lot of pages torn out of it because I've used it. So this is a grab bag. Um, but it's a Disney songbook. And I've gifted a lot of images in here. But it's got music paper. It's got um, the real Disney people, um, you know, stories. And then it's got the cartoon. Um, I've taken out so many images. Like I said, I've gifted a lot. Um, but it's got some black and white. There's some color images. Now they look like they're having way too much fun. For real. So there's that. So mostly Tigger. Everybody wants to be a cat. Now see this would be really cool if I took it out and put it in my cat box that I have. Um, over here and I'll show you guys that one too. But I'm leaving it in there because otherwise I... It, it would just take me so much time to go through every single thing I have to try to curate like I used to. I, I keep saying grab bags. You have to do grab bags. This is not like um, your old sale. But I will say the tins that are coming up and the boxes are semi like my old style. Um, Super Califragilistic Expialidocious. Um... Guys, I love, while I'm flipping through this, there's Mary Poppins, I, I love when my husband has had, um, you know, him and my brother-in-law, but when my husband has had, like, you know, a few beers, and, you know, he's, he, he speaks, obviously, Spanish, he's Mexican, 100%, but he speaks English, too, but honey, I, 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 honey, I'm thinking I'm talking to him, I'm trying to say, yep, you guys, but I love whenever he's had, you know, you know, two, three beers. I love making him say Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I can't say this. I think I told you guys this before I put the bottle in, in front of him and I say, honey, um, how do you say this? Oh my God, it's the most hilarious thing. <laughs> trying to him trying to say Worcestershire sauce because we can't, we barely can't say it. <laughs> oh my God. Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. He's, oh my God, that's so funny. Anyway, okay. So there's that. It's still, it's got some Pinocchio. For those of you who love Pinocchio, there's the three pigs. There's Pinocchio. Yeah, so that's fun. And you can use this cover too to make a journal out of. So there's that. And then, and I'm going to end it here, and then, guys, get ready. Get your pencils together and ready, because I'm coming back with some tin power. Here's another paper pack of Tinkerbell. Yeah, because it says Miss Bell, so I was right. Hallelujah. Um, and then it's got some really pretty papers. This is Unopened Fairies. And it's, um, what does it say? Paper pack. This is 8x8. Eight eight. And it looks like it's... Oh, I don't know if it's, yeah, looks like it's un, unopened or ha, has not been used, but I could be wrong, but there's a lot in there. It's really heavy. Um, here is a little, wait, let me finish with the paper stuff. I'm out of practice here, sort of. Okay, this is um, some paper that came out of a book that I had a long time ago. And it's got a lot of kids scribble in it. But I like this for glue booking because you can easily cut this night out. You can use these big pages in your children's books. I like the size of these pages. Um, and then it does have that kind of fairy princess feel to it. There's the night coming to save the day kind of thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So there's that. Um, and I just threw that in there because look at the cat. Oh my God. <laughs> so cute. Anyway, it's got that uh, fairy princess kind of feel to it. Then this is called Fairy's Queen Map. I don't know this story at all. And any of these stories, I'm pretty sure I've forgotten. Uh, my daughter would be 42. <laughs> I know. I've got nieces, nephews. But guys, I really didn't pay, att didn't pay attention as they were growing up to this kind of thing. Um, although my niece, um, I did play Barbie dolls with her when she was little. My niece, who is now a mom. 
Um, we played Barbie dolls together. That was her favorite thing to do. And so I'm this story, I don't know, but her name is Queen Mab, I guess. And it's illustrated by Roberta Collier Morales. So it's got some really pretty images. Look at the fairy trying to lift the coffee pot. There's one coming up on the table. They're cooking. I like this book a lot. Look at he's just watching, waiting for whatever it is they're making. Maybe a cake of sorts. More fairy issues. Girls walking and holding cupcakes. I know it ain't Starbucks. <laughs> it's got to be cupcakes or some kind of cake. And look at the little fairies in the background. And there's some over here and some down here. And some sitting and watching. I know I'm going through this pretty quickly. Oh, I guess those are cupcakes. And then there's the mushrooms. Look like they're meditating. I'm not sure what that's about. But anyway. So this is a fun book. This is a really cute book. And I won't flip through all the pages. But you get the gist. It's in very good condition. Um, so there's that. And then I... Hold on. One second. Okay. And then I put in... This cute little butter egg pattern, number 5659, of these cute little princess girls with their dolls. And it looks like they have, um, it says now we are twins. It looks like they have the option of two different styles of dresses or similar, but one has a longer skirty thing or I don't know what you call those. So there's that. And then here are some princess papers. I don't know where I got these from. Uh, let's see what this is. Um, stickers. Excuse me. It's stickers and stickers. Now I'm just burping air, guys, because I'm hungry. That's another reason why I'm trying to hurry up. So this one says, I'm a little princess. There's stickers there. This is a little princess. You're invited. So this is like a little princess invitation pack. Isn't that cute? There's a lot of invitations in there. And then these are the envies. And they're all in good condition. They're not stuck together. Guys, these are just great for junk journals, period. Because look, you can dye them. This is something I would avocado dye or coffee dye. And Bob is your uncle. Okay, so there's that and that and that. Stick it back in here. I don't know how many they're in there. Everything is as is. It is what it is. Okay. This is a grab kit. This would be an example of a grab pack. Okay. And then I put in um, cards. There's a 10. Let me just get that over here. There's a 10. <clears throat> so these are Olaf. I will say that some of my college students, guys, like the university college students, and even some of my college high school kids, they can sing the guys. They can sing the Frozen song like they used to. I know Frozen is kind of, we're over it now, but I was just like, oh my God, what is the world coming to? But it's so cute that boys can sing, young men can sing um, all of the Frozen songs. It's, I was just floored when, when that happened in my classroom. <laughs> Okay, um, so these are really, really uh, cool. I won't go through all of these, but you can kind of see images of them. These are Olaf. I don't know who Olaf the character, I don't know that character, guys. I, I don't know. Okay, I don't have grandchildren. I don't have any little babies running around. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, have mercy, God. Thank you, because, woo-wee. Um, raising kids in this century is just like, I've done my duty. I've had, I had my one baby and I raised her well and loved all over her and on her. And she was so smart and so bright, but that's where the buck stops with me. Um, and yeah, um, but kids are fun. They're a lot of fun. They're rewarding. It's a rewarding thing to be a parent today. Okay. This is, um, jumbo playing cards. So... I think it's a, well, anyway, <laughs> see, these are pretty, look at these, I have some of these, little ones, I think, or something like these, look at her, isn't she pretty, oh, the black princess, guys, I may have to take her out, I'm sorry, sorry, don't be mad, <laughs> I have to take her out, because I love all the black and brown people, I just love them, 
Okay, because you know it's it's rare. See see how many times I've gone through, and there was only one so far. <laughs> I know there's others in the back. Anyway, there's Snow White. I like this picture of her. I think that's really pretty. So these would be fun as a collection. Okay. Total, total fun. I do have um, girls. My college high schoolers made me watch. I had to, to, to get my mom to pull it up for me that um, there's the Joker. I had to get my mom to pull it up because my mom had all the stuff. Hulu, Roku, Slash or Slate or Slam or what was that called with an S? I forgot. Um, Amazon Prime. She had all of it. Everything. So I had to go, you know, had to go and say, Mom, you, we got to pull it up because my students keep saying, Professor, you haven't seen that movie? Oh my gosh. Now I have a totally different opinion of you. <laughs> oh, and the movie was... Um, the Prince's Frog something or like that. My mom and I watched it together, guys. It, it's really a cute movie. And they were singing. I have video of that. I literally have video of my students singing that. Uh, the girls, high school seniors singing that. And they were all into it. Okay, this is going to be Card Overload. Disney, Olaf, and Frozen. And I'll just go through a couple of these cards. Um, I got these, acquired these at different times, but... Yeah, it's a lot. Um, there's that. There's the dude, dude. I never saw this movie. I don't know. Did my niece make me watch it? Maybe Ruby made me watch it. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever saw this movie. I just, I just remember um, it. Just she being on water bottles, um, which you know is promoting uh, water, and perhaps. Um, trying to appeal to little kids to drink more water, but I don't think she's on there anymore. It was, I forget which water it was, but we talk about different ads and, and their appeal to people. Okay. So there's that. There's the Joker, the bad dude. And so there's that. And I think all the cards are in there except for the one guys. I, I feel bad if I took that one card out, but I'm sorry. Anyway, there's plenty of cards. This is mostly for junk journaling right but you might play these cards with your grandkids and stuff you know what i mean here is some tape um i love this tape it's duct tape i think yes it's duct tape and there's snow white there is that princess i don't know if that's cinderella i think that's cinderella and it just goes on and on and on somebody's texting me i think that's my sissy again or maybe that was my niece okay so there's that and then these came out of my collection if you haven't gone into my Etsy shop to see where I have um, a host of paper game money some of these cards is included in that and these those packs I put them together it's like a collection of all kinds of monopoly this and that I think I told you guys this before but it's so cool if you're doing a game board game party or if you just want to have a party with some kind of board game game theme or a monopoly game party theme or a card game party theme for kids it's both for kids and adults and I've sold quite a few of those um, so there's that that's two I had a few extras and then this is out of my little collection I just put this card in there for little tiny card for this side of it old mate and then these are little ones did I put another oh yeah there's more here there's Tinker Bell again. She's so sassy. And then there's that. And I tried to pick ones that had um, different scenes of the characters. And then these have this side. Oops, sorry. And then when you flip them over, I tried to pick. This is a vintage. These are vintagey. Um, I have some that are more contemporary, but they're in my, I think I put them in the, I don't know if I put them in those game packs or not. I think I did. Anyway, there's four different girls there, princesses there. And then this came from, I think this came from Tamara. 
if I'm not mistaken, I could be in some stuff that she had given me. Somebody had given me a pack of paper or it could have been something that came in um, Sue's packs. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Really, honestly, I can't. But anyway, I saved it. And this is actually what triggered this to for me to go through all my stuff and just gather all the Disney princesses. And it's an old ticket stub cover. Um, there's the price. Five Adventures in Disneyland. And there's the inside. So that's an old ticket uh, stub cover. I like that a lot. And then here's an apple. And these little goodies. And I'll put these in a... Do I have a little sack over here somewhere? Here's one. Um, there's a sword. This came out of some of my mom's stuff. Because she had a lot of charms. And I put that in there because the prints... Um, but it also could work well for a more gothic um, themed book. It could also work for medieval. If you're working on a medieval um, journal, that's good for that. So you could, there's lots you could do with that. I put a pearl in there because we're talking about girls. And so this came out of some old um, stuff. And then a clip and then some pretty larger pink buttons, another clip in pink and purple and some of my old vintage buttons, which I have a ton of. OK, so that's just like a little fun, um, a little fun set that you can play with and do stuff with your granddaughters or grandsons, because grandsons, they like to play with princess things as well we don't discriminate here at renee's edit again in fact we promote and support um young people that may not want to do the norm you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean what can i put this in i know i didn't want to put it in here i was going to use this bag for something else but anyway i don't have a smaller bag i do but they're somewhere i don't know where they are okay there's that and then you also get this lovely tin. I'm not going to measure it because I don't have time. <laughs> oh boy. So there's that. And it looks like these cards, um, some of one of two of these card sets may have come in here. But that's a bo that's the box. Playing card game super set. Guys, if you re I feel like now I should put that princess back. Oh my god. I'm going to put her back because now I feel terrible. <laughs> that I'm breaking up the set where did she go in here yeah I'm putting her back I don't need to keep everything with beautiful brown people on the on it <sighs> okay there we go she's back in there see this is me talk about live in real time this is real time right here okay let me open up this tin I should measure it I got my measuring tape I said I wasn't but I will the box measures four and three fourths, roughly, rough, rough, uh, and nine and five eighths. Okay, let me put all of this in there, please. Those will fit in there. That is, oops, that on the side. That's not gonna fit. No, that's not going to fit in there. Okay, there's that. And then, oh, I can put some other stuff in here. I put some pretty pink fabric remnants. Remnants, 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 meaning these are not perfectly cut pieces, but they are nice and where you can do a journal spine or do a pocket. It's pretty, it's pink, it's got flowers with these little white flurry things popping around everywhere. So pretty, pretty, pretty pink. Okay, and then I put in these roses. This comes from an old bed sheet, I think, which, oh my God, I remember these back in the day, do y'all? It's got these little tiny little itty bitty roses on it. These came also, I remember these in like blue um, roses and so on and so forth back in the day. So there's that. That's really light and, and airy. And then, oh, there's some buttons. I put these buttons in there and there's two princesses. Oh my God. Let me show you something. I've shown these before, I think. Where are you, little princess? Where are you? Where are you? Okay. I have a ton of these. They're princesses. 
or debutante girls. I've shown these before, so there's a lot of them. Anybody interested in those, hit me up. Holler at me. All right. So I put two of them not to overwhelm because this is a grab bag. But, you know, like if you can use all of those green princesses instead of just these two, let me know. And then there's some pink buttons. So pink and green. And then I put this cute little um, um, pink bag in there um, because it's kind of princessy. I put a lot of these in some of my happy mail for, for you ladies. These are those um, organza bags that you can stick stuff in and tie, but they have little little dangly things at the end. So that's in there. Two little tiny itty bitty coat hangers for doll room, doll clothes, miniatures. And um, a dress. Just so things don't get sh shook around. So there are those in there. Those are really cute. Okay, sorry for the rattling. And then one dress. And I'm done with this grab bag. Princess grab bag. There's a pretty yellow, um, you know, kind of a with Velcro um, thing. Okay, so that's really cute. So that's going to go in there because... That's kind of princessy, right, guys? I think it is. I love doll clothes. I don't know why. I've, I've sold so many doll clothes in um, my kits. And the reason why I put them in there is because I always imagine if you're doing like a sewing journal. Like these two things I'm keeping for myself. These are really cute. I'm keeping these to put in my stitching um, panels. Some of my stitching panels. Um, because they're old. And I just love this check. Um, little suit and I really love this one this one is my favorite because it's it's like a jacket look at the little tiny buttons have you ever seen the button that darn tiny look at that can you even see it look it's so little and so I love working um, with imagine there's a little pocket right there I love this little jacket so I kept those for myself I was gonna put them in the miniature um, assemblage boxes but um, it's other stuff in there okay so there's that guys I'm gonna stop here and I'll be back with more this is lot number 95 this whole grab princess it's a grab princess lot bag gathering collection <laughs> i could put more in here guys but i'll be here forever so this whole thing i'm going to do for 22 dollars okay 22 bucks for all that okay and these papers aren't cheap you know they have you'll see prices on some things but um a lot of times i will just pick them up um you know if the hobby lobby price says 5.99 you know, if I get them at a thrift store, they, they're higher than that for one day. And then it goes down, 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 down. But by the time you go back, it's gone, 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 gone. So, ooh, I could put some stickers in there too. Wait, some of Tamara's stickers. <gasps> wait, wait. <laughs> okay, wait. She gave me so many of these. We all love these, don't we, ladies? We just love them. I'm going to make them all even. There's an orange color, peachy color. So these will be fun to stick in there. And I put different numbers. Okay. Okay. There we go. So I'll stick those in there because those are fun too. There we go. Let me go on the side. I don't want them to bend. Yes. Okay, $22. Guys, that's a steal. You can make your own paper packs with the cards in here. That's what I would do if I was a seller. But am I a seller? I'm still a seller, right? But I don't have time to do that kind of stuff no more. Oh, my God. I'm so excited, guys. I'm trying my best not to be overly excited. I'm a little bit... Um, whoops, what did I just drop? I'm a little bit... Um, you know, kind of like I'm excited and I'm not um, afraid or anything like that. I'm excited. I'm ready, but I'm trying to calm down. 
that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to calm down and make sure that I don't get so excited that I can't think. <laughs> because I have to do a lot of thinking now for real. I got to use the noggin. <laughs> Anyway, okay, I will say goodbye for now. Keep watch. Next, I'm going to have, um, I think I'm going to do my Christmas tins next. Um, and I've got some beautiful old vintage tins. And then, I know, I start, I, I'm going to start prepping this week, but I started cutting up um, some grab fabric packs. Y'all are going to love them. They're just going to be, and the price is going to be so good. It'll be worth it, okay? That's all I can tell you, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.